Hello Stella Maris families, happy May. It is truly a beautiful day out. May is traditionally a month in which Catholics honor Mary by praying the rosary, celebrating the May crowning, or just gathering for prayer in her honor. During this time we can't gather, but there are different things that we can do. And I'm gonna show you uh, art that you could do. It's, you could do it on paper like I'm going to do, or you could do it on a window like all um, many people did with the stained glass windows. So you can also um, pray the rosary together. There's lots of good videos out there that you can follow along, or you can pray a litany of Mary. So here is a project that you can do with your family. Mary is truly the greatest of saints. She's our spiritual mother and she always said yes to God. So she is one that we can go to and ask for her intercession, to ask for her help, for her comfort, knowing that she will take our prayers to our Lord Jesus Christ. At our house, our dining room has become more than just where we gather for our family meals, which thankfully is more frequent now. It is one good thing that has come out of this. But it's also a place where we gather um, for our lessons, for schooling, and it's also a place where I teach from. And it has also become where we gather for our masses. Um, we're truly grateful that the priests have been um, streaming the, the masses for us to be able to attend. So we created a little altar, and during this time we can also pray a litany for Mary. So Catholics honor Mary as Christ's mother, as the mother of the church, and as the church's greatest saint. May is a special month in the church, in the Catholic church, that we honor Mary. So let us open our hearts to hear Mary's words of joy, taken from the Gospel of Luke. In those days Mary arose and went with haste into the hill country, to a city of Judah, and she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. And when Elizabeth heard the greeting of Mary, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. And she exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why is this granted to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, when the voice of your greeting came to my ears, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowest state of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Gospel of Luke. Oh, I'm going to show you a craft, an art project that you can do to help celebrate this month of Mary. You need a piece of paper, pencil, and some crayons or other coloring things. You could use paints too. hope you have fun creating and know that they all can turn out a little bit different. My girls made a couple and you can see all of them turn out a little bit different. There they put black lines. There's the one we just did and there's one with where you make an eight to make Madonna and child in the middle and you use the figure eights. So have fun creating there's your steps and enjoy celebrating Mary.